So this video is around the patch management settings. Um, in a previous video, uh, you may have seen or you may personally have already seen that you can set up within the protection plan itself, you can set up for patch management to occur. Uh, we have already discussed how you will need vulnerability assessments to be turned on and run uh, so that you can get the ability to do patch management. But once you have this set up, on the left hand side underneath all the way down if we go to software management you'll be able to see the list of those vulnerabilities as well as the patches and then within the patch screen there's a lot of information that we can look at uh, and we can filter out items and uh, i want to kind of just show you guys the ins and outs of how to navigate this the first thing to note is at the very top left for uh, filter you can go ahead and filter out based on the machine types you're looking for, uh, the types of products that you know you're going to have to update, or maybe even like the types of category for the update, whether it's just basic applications, feature packs, drivers, etc. So you're able to filter that out appropriately as you need to. And then over on the right hand side, you're going to see under approval status, there is a bunch of options here. There is declined, approved, and pending approval. So the way that this works here is when we scan for a vulnerability that has patches available, the patches will publish here. You then can come in and then approve or decline them. Um, if you do decline them, that just means that during the patching process, those will be skipped and not included during that patch. Um, so you can actually skip those outright. Now, keep in mind uh, that we do have um, the ability here to still do uh, manual patches. So even if you do include them in a plan, um, that's that's awesome. But if you do it in a declined status, it just means we're not automatically patching it in the future, right? Uh, but it doesn't prevent you from patching it now. So you can always come in here and run that patch directly. And then on top of that, don't forget this tab right here, this settings, is a button that you can push. And when you do, you're able to select how long you want the data to reside within this. And then on top of that, you can select whether we want to do automatic patch approval. So this would be for the ability of you to just have the patches be automatically assigned. And then on top of it, we can accept the license agreements automatically as well. So you can go ahead and apply those plans as needed. Um, but yeah, that, that's it there for the plans. Hopefully that made sense. And thank you.